Hello and welcome back. We're going to start off our adventures with a level 1 XR monk. We're going to start off in Nariak. We're going to hit next. Oh, we're going to choose our name and our server. Uh, we'll go with. Uh, we'll try Vertigo. Now, you'll want a heavy pop server. Do not go with a low pop server. That is not going to be fun. Vertigo is taken. Hmm, let's go, let's try... Uh, hmm. We'll call him Vertifist. Surely nobody has that. Alright, let's go. I'll cover things um, like the UI and things like that. I'll try to do that while we're moving about. I don't want to just stand around. It's pretty boring. Try to keep it interesting for you guys. Alright, right now what it's doing is asking if I were to import settings from another user. I'm going to say no just since, uh, for the purposes of this. A new quest, the Great Challenge. You've been challenged to achieve level 20 in other f under 14 days from your character's creation date. Should you prove your loyalty and complete this test, you'll be richly rewarded and granted the title of Knight. You may type Play to determine how much time you've taken so far. Huh, this is the first time I've seen this. Title, Knight of Deliri. Accept quest. Oh, and you get 10 gold, wow. So it's what achieve level 20. That's pretty easy. All right. Now, this looks like a little tutorial. I haven't seen this. It's just telling me what the interface looks like. We'll skip that for now since we know how it works. Uh, we know the basic movement, quests. We're all going to show you guys that stuff. Yep, we're just closing out of that. That's just their help system. Yep, this looks like... I don't know if this is the newbie type. Well, obviously this is a newbie area, but I don't know if this is an instance area or uh, no. This is dark light wood. All right, now the little feather is their version of kind of the exclamation mark of a lot of MMOs, and you can see that on the minimap as well. Greetings! Excellent, you finally arrived. So we are one of Cristanos's chosen ones, huh? The queen must see some great potential in you, Vertifist. Let's not waste any more time and see what you're made of. How am I to do that? Hate's Envy has fallen under attack by an army of Sable Vein Elementals. We need your help in stopping them before they burn down the entire town. What is it you have me do? The Sable Vein Elementals have collapsed a section of the southern wall and now threaten to swarm inside the town. I need you to meet up with Zude and Palandra. Two of the guards asked tasked with repelling this attack. Go, speak with them at once. I will speak with them at once. And a new quest. A solidified front. Level 1. Description. Basically, I'm going to go help them. Tells you what you're supposed to do. And uh, tells you what your reward's going to be. May interrupt guide your blade, young one. So, again, standard controls. WAS movement. Map at the top right here. You have your quest helper right here. I'm a little tense. Perhaps you should leave me be. One thing this game has that I like, here's your mailbox. I don't have any mail. One thing this game has that I like is voiceover. Originally, all the quests, or not all of them, but a lot of the quests, the actual quest givers would speak to you. They don't do that anymore, but Hello I wish there. they did. I'm able to answer any questions you have about collections and harvesting. Actually, we're going to talk to him later. I'll, uh, I'll do that in a video about harvesting and or, uh, trade skills. The thing about EverQuest 2, one of the things I really like about EQ2 is there are a lot of things to do. Like, it's not just about, okay, I need to level up get to max level, and that's it. There's just so much stuff to do. 
it's, um, it's just a lot of fun. I really enjoy this game. Here's your banker. Obviously, I've got tons of stuff. I've got some books here. I think that's in the bank. Wow, I've actually got a lot of backpacks. Sweet. You open doors just by double-clicking on them. All right, I'll go ahead and show you this real quick. Now, you have harvestable materials. Everyone can harvest. You have harvest skills, however, but everyone can harvest. You don't need materials. You just double-click it, and you start harvesting. I got a severed elm. Do it again. And you can uh, do three, three uh, harvests. Now, if you fail a harvest, it doesn't count against you, so you can try again. And the the harvestable element has a level. So if I was in a level 60 area, I couldn't harvest anything because my skill is too low. It actually just said I had a mail message, so I'm trying to find the mailbox. Let's see, what does the mail message say? Oh, there it is. I receive word that you've taken an interest in harvesting. If so, I beg of you to help me with my son, Quo. Please come visit him on the island of Mara. If my letter has reached you too late, please take this potion with my apologies. It applies harvest expertise when activated. It lasts for one hour. Caster will harvest a second time. I'm not going to bother with that for right now. Basically what that does is it was a quest giver through the mail. And it's a potion that helps me harvest a little bit. Curse these infernal things. There's no end to them in sight. You there. What do you want? I've been sent by Verant Nizah to assist you. I told Rex I could handle things by my here by myself. Bah, no matter. You think you cut out for the job? It's no skin off my back whether or not you succeed. Vertex can always send another recruit to a place to fall in. What is it you would have me do? The elemental started first started appearing first inside Sibylvain Tier. Forcing out miners, to, forcing our miners to retreat. Now they're springing forth from rifts in the ground. I need to find one of the rifts and seal it. Are you up to the task? Yes, I will seal one of the rifts. Basically, wants me to seal rifts, and I'll get guard gloves that I can't use because they're leather. The citizens of Hate's Envy depend upon you, Vertifist. Vertifist, do not fail them. Abra return victorious. Uh, also, a book, like a closed book is a sign of a quest that you can be complete. When you complete a quest, it tells you, you know, a short description. I met with both blah 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 and blah 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 outside the southern breach in the walls of Hate's Envy. It tells you how much you got and then you just close the window. It's about time, Varric sent some help. You are here to assist with the Sable Vein, right? Yes, point me in the point me in the face of danger. This outpost is about to be overrun if we don't act fast. If you really do think you can assist us, charge out into the fray and slay a number of the advancing Sable Vein Crumblers. Consider them no more. So basically, they tell you about your quest. They tell you about the quest. Then the actual quest accept box comes up and tells you specifically what you have to do and gives you the reward, or tells you what the reward's going to be. You can accept the request, decline it, and then they give you that. Now, Many dings. Every 10% experience you gain, your health and power will be replenished completely. This is known as many ding. Obviously, at low levels, that doesn't mean much since, you know, your health and re regen replenishes pretty quickly. Later on, though, it's pretty nice. Now, let's go over the UI just real quick. Obviously, up here, health is green. My energy, which I went over before, is kind of everybody uses energy. It works just like mana is the blue bar. Below that is kind of the... Basically, you can concentrate to hold buffs so that, like, if I casted a buff, it doesn't, like, last for 30 minutes and then I recast it. You cast a buff and it just lasts. But it takes up a certain number of slots, so I can only cast five buffs at a time. It's actually a good system so that you have to constantly keep recast buffs. Here's my chat window that I just broke that back over, move my chat over, make it a little bit bigger so I can see people chatting I guess. Your main window, menu window here, 
you've got your different options here. Now, the window that matters is down here, XP. The yellow is how far I am into level. Blue is uh, my adventure experience. Or my rested experience, I think. Even though I don't know why I have rested at this level. But anyway, obviously I'm level one. Adventure vitality, that's basically their equivalent of rested XP. And my adventure bar. Well met. One is auto attack. Two is range, which I don't have any ranged weapons, I don't think. And three will be my only ability. Waking Dragon. So, it does 2-4 to four melee damage on target. So, let's go try it. Combat? I know all this. No, but a good thing I'll talk about while I'm kicking these things is asses. So, you can see, well, being on YouTube, I don't know if you can see it. But you can see this thing refill as I use it. I can also, whoops, I can double click. We'll start me auto attacking. I'm trying to just get a better angle. It's a little jerky. I apologize. I've got my, I've got the graphical settings all the way maxed, just to kind of give you the best view of the game. Of course, ironically, that also makes it a little choppy. But. Right now, don't be put off by the fact that I'm just pressing one button and just waiting for it to refresh. Believe me, that will change. And I don't mean that for the better. That actually hits on one of EverQuest 2's problems, is that later on, you get too many buttons to press. But we'll address that later. All right, we finished the quest. This guy's got the little book over his head. So, we go talk to him. Were you successful in striking down the invaders? I slew a great number of them. And by great number, I mean four. Ah, the old ding. I'm now level two. Now, you automatically gain your spells or abilities in EverQuest 2. Now, that sounds great. And it is great. But, and I'll go over why that's kind of cool. And we'll go over that next in just a little bit. So I got the sandals. Sweet. I accept. Yes, I know about my inventory. I double click on those boots to put them on. I'm assuming that they're better. Excellent work, Bernifice. I see now that fear is not an emotion you're much familiar with. Nariac, which is the Dark Elf City, Will prosper greatly so long as you defend her banner. I just killed four level one elementals, but thank you. Now then, enough idle discourse. The sable vein continued to strike. You must speak with Palandra if you have not already. Goodbye, whatever your name is. Hello. Let's see. Go ahead and dismiss these. Okay, and we got our new ability. New ability is, if you just hover the mouse over it, it'll tell you what it is. Frozen Palm. Target enemy inflicts 9 to 16 cold damage on the target. Ouch. Alright, oh, we can look at the map here and we see that somebody's got this. Oh, it's that person. Oh, we gotta seal those rifts. I forgot about that. Oh, here's another thing that's new. I didn't notice it first. Uh, and you see it in both maps but I wanted to kind of show you. You'll see this area here is a little bit light green, a little different color. That's showing you where you have a quest there, and if you hover the mouse over it, it shows you which quest is there. In this case, it's sealing the rift. So, seal one of the newly opened rifts. Uh, is this a rift? New. Maybe those are the rifts. Let's see if we have no nope, nothing in our inventory. One other thing that I absolutely love about let's kill this thing. Booyah! Yeah, you like that, don't you? 
were under attack or not attack. Ah, uh, sometimes enemies drop chests. That means, like, it's a better than normal item. Sometimes the chests are dropped, or, uh, are trapped, though, and it kind of hurts. I think I've been dr killed by a chest. So this has a superb loop, which is a ring. Uh, it's only wearable by priests, though. It's a no-trade item, but may be traded with characters who are in the group. Uh, but it's just me, so... I can sell it, I guess, to a vendor. I'm not quite sure how I'm... Let's see. Let's read the quest. A hey, newly opened rift from which the seal of animals are emerging from. Once I located a rift, I need to find a way to seal it. All right, so I think we need to find... Oop. Oop, I hear them coming from something. I hailed them coming from... Uh, this kills something while we're waiting. Anyway, let's talk about... Oh, wow. Level 3 already. Awesome. Let's kill more stuff. Men. Ah, that's the old-fashioned monk. Heal. We're going to be looking around. Oh, by the way, if you don't have the option to loot, that means the item or the mob didn't have anything. Which is kind of nice, actually. What I'm looking for is to see if there should be, like, a warp that these things are falling out of, or a rift. See, I'm gathering, and you'll see I'm getting skill points from doing this. My gathering is going up, so you definitely want to do this. Even if you're not interested in trade skill. Ah! Kick Rebel. Booyah! Okay, so we just had to find the rubble. A lot of times that'll be that way. You just have to find the item to interact with. Ah, you returned. You didn't want peace, I might add. Tell me, were you able to seal one of the rifts? I found one and sealed it. I sealed one of the Sable Vein rifts. Bodyguard's gloves. Ah, there we go. Now I can use them. Put those on. Remarkable work, Veritifist. Your enemies will soon quake upon hearing your name. Yes, they will. The rift may be sealed, but the battlefield is far from clear. Is there more I can do? Indeed, there is, Rift Walker. Hmm. Is that like Texas Walker? No. The Sable Vein Elementals did not appear here naturally. Something or someone summoned them. To learn more about their creator, I have a new mission for you to undertake. I need you to hunt the Sable Vein Pulverizers found near the entrance of Sable Vein Tear. Tear? Tear. These more superior forms of elemental magic will likely be imbued with a sigil of sigil of some sort. Analyzing these sigils will give us insight to who is really behind these attacks. I will collect the sigils. I will collect the hell out of them. Alright, again. I can see on my map where the next area is, so I'm going to head that way. Now, the spells. As I mentioned before, you get your abilities and spells automatically. But... And I'll show you real quick. You'll notice it says Mend and then an Apprentice in parentheses. Spells have different levels. Do I have a ranged attack? Hey, I do have a ranged attack. But... Spells have different levels. Apprentice... Uh, I honestly do not remember what they all are right now. Hmm. Rough stone imbued with odd looking type of glyph. Now, oh, that actually does think. Oh, now, here's another important thing. Another awesome thing about EQ2. These are called technically shinies. When you see a shiny with a question mark, click on it and loot it. Now, this time it was a plown, plain brown moth. These things are almost always collectible, no matter what they are. So when you get it, you right-click it, and then you have to examine it. What these things do is they go in the collection. In the collection. There are tons of these collections. When you finish the collection, you get a ton of XP for doing them. So you absolutely want to do these collections, even if you don't want to do them for whatever asinine reason. You can sell them in a broker, which is their version of the auction house. 
So either way, you'll want to do that. But I can't imagine not wanting to do this quest because, like I said, they give you a ton of XP, and there are tons of these collections. But um, it'll show you automatically which collections you can add it to. In this case, I've only got the one set, which is a plain moth collection. I'll add it. And the nice thing is, once you add it, it is out of your inventory. So it's no longer taking space, which I love. I love things not taking inventory space. And as a matter of fact, if you have your graphics set up, if you look, again, I know you're on YouTube, so it might not be easy to see, but if you look, there's actually shinies over there and over there. So if you keep your graphics up, you can see that stuff pretty far off. Ice fist! I hate my frame rates dropping so bad. While my Ixar's kicking some ass. But anyway, back to what I was talking about with the levels of spells. The difference in a, like damage or basically how useful a spell is in Apprentice versus you know, which is like the lowest version of the spell versus, um, I forget what the highest level, Grandmaster or whatever it is, is huge. We're not talking like, you know, a few extra points of damage. It's, it's really big. So even though you get your spells for free, just from leveling, your important spells, you are still going to want to either buy them or research them. A specific trade skill, and I forget which one right off the top of my head, a specific trade skill makes spells so you can either make them yourself or you can buy them off the, the broker. And you're not generally, especially if you're just starting, you're not going to buy them all, but you'll just want to buy the ones that you use all the time. Did you bring me the Sable Vein Sigil Stone? Sigil Stone, yes, I had the. Damn, and another level. Awesome. I collected a good number of sigil stones for 24 copper, baby. Good, let's see them. The mark on the sigil stones you recovered. Oh. The mark on the sigil stones you recovered confirmed my suspicions. The sable vein elementals are no doubt the creation of the cowardly Thexians. What can we do to stop them? It is time we put an end to the attack once and for all. We must confront the threat at the source. The blah, 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 the Thoth. You've proven your strength to me, Vernafist. You've killed eight whole creatures. Now you must prove your rancor towards those who would dare to keep us from our goals. I will defeat all who oppose me. Doesn't really matter what you choose, by the way. Kazakh be praised. Hell yeah. Kazakh duel is who he's referring to. <coughs> Sorry, all the voice work is making my voice hurt. My my voice hurt? My throat hurt. Good, then we shall begin. I believe the source of our problem lies within the depths of Sable Vein Tear, Tear, whatever. The place our miners were recently excavating before the elementals attack. Go on. I want you to journey inside the cave and remove the one responsible for creating this mayhem. Do this for me, young one, and prove your ruthlessness to be unquestionable. I will put an end to this attack. Hot bars. You can open new ones by... Right, oh, yep. Alright, we got new abilities. Uh, oh, and the mend is a self-heal. Dispels seven levels of noxious hostile effects. Heals target, which is me, for 19 to 24. Hey, look, another shiny. If you guys will excuse me. A chip shard of alteration. I got one before. Yep, see? Cracked troll bone fragment. Again, right click. Examine. Now you see, this time I have two different collections. A cracked bone fragment, which is a level 20 uh, collection, which is a ton of different options. And a level 45 collection, which is only five. Now, it doesn't really matter which one you put it in. I mean, really at this point, I don't guess. I mean, this one's got a ton of bones, but then again, this one's got level 45. I'm going to put it in here because theoretically, I could go on the broker and buy the ones I'm missing, which a lot of people do. 
and you can get really good XP that way. And again, I've got multiple choices here. Since this one's level 10, I'm going to put it in there. Theoretically, it's better chance of me finishing it. Um, also, the conning system, level or uh, gr uh, green, when the monster's item name is green, that means it's very low level, not much of a challenge. Blue is, mm, it's kind of a challenge, but not really. White is, it's the same level as you are, like that guy is. Uh, yellow, it's a little higher. Uh, let's see. Red is, it's high, a lot higher. And orange is, you're about to get screwed. Heavy stone. I've been working in a coal mine, working down and down. Working in a coal mine, I'm about to get down. Yeah, you'll see, you'll notice I've got more swings than normal. Because it's saying nothing found. Which I like, because that actually gives you a chance to increase your skill. Which you'll want to do. And if I remember correctly, you'll see it says uh, 8 out of 20, 9 out of 20, 10 out of 20. I believe your mining skills and whatnot, your caps, go up as you level, I think. So, like, you couldn't take a level one and go mine out of a high-level area, I believe. On that, I'm not 100% sure. Hmm, this looks slightly suspicious. Thexy and Occultists. I want to see what my other abilities were. Flow like wind. Target self, duration until cancelled. So target is me. Increase attack speed of caster by 10.9. Decrease defense of caster by 1.8. Hello, how are you doing? Increase slashing, piercing, crushing, and range of caster. So basically it speeds up my attacks, increases my damage, I guess. Uh, but it decreases my defense a little bit. Uh, for how long? Oh, until cancelled. So it's like a buff. So, yeah, I'm going to use that. So, again, this is what I was talking about where you have your buffs. Uh, Crouching Tiger. As 1.3% base to avoidance, Caster will deflect 9% of incoming attacks, increase parry of Caster by 1.6, decrease slashing, piercing, and crushing of Caster, increase aggression. I think that uh, increases your uh, aggro, basically. Basically, increasing the chances the mob will continue attacking you. Increases defense and deflection of caster by 1.6. Increases mitigation. Increases caster's effectiveness, effectiveness of armor. And makes caster immune to strike through. I'm not sure what that is. Basically, first off, I'm going to start beating the horses. Because they're obviously the problem. But basically, what's going on here is I can choose one of two stances. Flow like the wind. Or Crouching Tiger. Crouching Tiger is going to be your tanking stance. Because it increases my tanking abilities. Like avoidance, defense, uh, hate generation, things like that. But it decreases my actual damage. This one increases my damage. But actually decreases my uh, defense a little bit. And I'm just calling this because it's here. As a general rule of thumb, and I'll try, I probably won't do this a lot when I'm playing, just because, you know, it probably gets bored watching me randomly kill stuff and ramble on as I do it. But if you're just playing any MMO, well, not any, any, but most MMOs, if they're giving you a fair amount of XP for each kill, when you're doing quests, you should generally kill all mobs on the way to the quest and on the way back. It's just worth, it's just worth it, XP-wise. You'll level much faster that way. And... One thing you'll find in EQ2 in particular, Elemental Planner Seed, let's see, required by the quest, Lore and Legend Elemental, 
Bridge this item can be studied to learn more about the nature of the elemental. Well, let's do that. So what we'll do again, right click, examine. Uh, this item giving us a quest. Again, that's why you want to look at the descriptions of these items when you loot them. And again, it's kind of what I'm talking about when I say that these this game has a lot to it. It gives us a trophy. If you want to look at the trophy, I can hold right click and left click. Hold control and left click. That's what it looks like. Trophy is stuff that you can put into your house. I am searching for elemental body parts in order to gain knowledge about their kind. This is another type of collection quest. Ooh, Surprise! I'm actually not going to track this. If you get a quest and you don't want to track it, you just open your journal, which is just the J key, or you can double click it. And you find it in your list. And you uncheck it. But that's one of those quests you're probably not going to actively want to do. Because it, as you saw, there is a lot of parts to it. And it's another good reason, especially in a game like this, where you'll want to kill all the mobs in your path because they give you, you know, random quest items like that. So, again, I'm not going to do that for this LP just because it'd be pretty boring to watch me do that. But 